David, football is back. It might only be pre-season. How... By the way, what the... What, what <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a long story, but I, okay. I am freezing and I was soaked I before kick-off. So, Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. Football is back. How, how eager have you been to be back on the touchline, back watching your team? Good. Great. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, obviously, we, we really challenged the guys today and maybe in the last days as well. So we had a... Strange journey with three hours. Uh, just arrived an hour before kickoff. Uh, the weather yesterday triple session. Obviously, they have uh, a lot of uh, miles in their legs uh, from the last days. But I like what I've seen. So uh, they really worked hard. Uh, played some good football in the one or other situations. Obviously, we haven't used our chances. Um, we gave some chances away as well. Uh, but it was a good test because everyone is healthy after the game. We have seen some new faces, uh, some young academy products as well. So it was a good test uh, and I'm happy with this test. Everybody healthy and we move on to more training. Yeah, you were off your feet a few times. We could hear your voice booming. So, you know, <laughs> you, you were still doing what you do. It doesn't matter whether it's a friendly. Yeah, it isn't a friendly. So when we play football, we don't have friendlies. We make tests and uh, obviously in tests, you make some good stuff and, and some less good stuff. And um, I uh, cheer for them if they do good stuff and uh, I criticize them if not. So this is uh, my job and uh, this tests, uh, this counts for tests as well. As I said, um, I think it was a good test. I've uh, seen enough to take uh, on board to, to move on and to work on. Uh, I've seen some positive things, uh, some negatives as well. We've seen that uh, in the one other situation, especially uh, technically, uh, they were not so fresh uh, because then maybe they can use the one other opportunity much more better than they have done. But overall, most important thing, everyone healthy and uh, we move on. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and you don't have to wait long before another friendly, but I'm sure you'll be working them hard in between as well. Yeah, <laughs> that's correct. So. <laughs> We arrive quite late tonight, but training tomorrow, uh, double session on Saturday and Friday, and then we go into the Kings Lynn game where the one or other of the internationals will be uh, probably involved. Uh, Josh will be involved. Then uh, he got a big workload uh, in this week, uh, today and yesterday. This is why we said we will not use him tonight. Um, we will see who we, uh, how we will give the minutes on Saturday to the players. Maybe the one or other will get more than only 45 minutes I will see uh, what we will do on Saturday and hopefully everybody stays healthy uh, like they've done in the past yeah I haven't had a chance to speak to you since you you signed Borja Sainz um, uh, 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 another winger um, and just, just tell us a bit about him and why he was so attractive yeah he's a footballer who uh, likes to play in between the lines a technical footballer he can drive the ball can score goals uh, good in the one against one runs in behind uh, has speed I think uh, when you score the numbers of goals and assists which he has done in the last season in the Turkish league, uh, we know Milot who plays mm -hmm. for Galatasaray if we compare this and he played for sure for a side who is not as strong as Galatasaray um, and it was a free transfer in a, in a very good age uh, so we were keen to get him and add him to our squad. Obviously, I only have seen him uh, yesterday the first time where he made his test, today he was on the grass. Uh, the first time uh, but everything what I've seen and I've spoken with him excites and uh, we have to make sure that he settles in bounce as good as he can with the group as well uh, and this is our way yeah and then after Kings Lane you go away how important is that time with your new squad those especially the new the new players to come together not just for the work you'll do on the pitch but also <laughs> sort of getting that spirit behind the scenes as well yeah, we have to be uh, clear and honest that uh, obviously we have great facilities um, at our training uh, ground as well. This means uh, when we have triple sessions like we had yesterday and we meet us early at 7.30 in the morning for breakfast and for the first training session, everything is there. So uh, I said to the players, I know maybe it's unusual, but uh, look at the builders who are uh, at Colony at our training ground. They are there every morning for this time. And uh, I can imagine they work harder than we do day in, day out. So uh, they, they take it on the shin, as I said. Uh, they take it, uh, I can say, quite positive. Um, and always stuff like this helps to bounce and uh, to go to Germany for, for five days, I think. And then obviously to Austria later on as well. Uh, every time which you spend together on breakfast, uh, lunch or dinner, 
uh, with some colleagues, uh, helps to bound, helps to have conversations, sometimes maybe apart from football. And uh, as better as you know your mate, uh, I'm a strong believer, as better you can play with in football as well. And just finally from me, I, I know you talked about bringing characters into the club. You've already made some of those signings. We, we can see you've got character. Has that made an instant impact in the dressing room, despite the fact it's only been a few days? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this is uh, not a shadow of a doubt for me. So even uh, today before uh, the, uh, the, the test against Barnet, it was much more lively in the dressing room when we, when we went out for the first half than it was last season in one or other of the championship games. Uh, this is the truth and this was one of the aim, but apart from uh, the character which they have, they, they, they set the standard high in training as well. So Ashley Barnes, who was now with us the whole time, um, Sean Duffy only came uh, on the weekend uh, back to training as well. He already has shown what, what a great lad he is, uh, missed not one session, uh, always in front of the group uh, in training, even in the hard sessions as well. So he really sets the bar high, the standard high, and this is exactly what we need. Uh, just ask David, Science and Duffy, too soon, Kings Lynn this, this weekend, do you think? See you. Yeah, I think so. Uh, as I said, uh, they tested yesterday. Uh, today they had a double session. In the morning session, obviously, I was there uh, on the grass the first time. The plan is that they get their minutes, their first minutes on Saturday, if not at the latest in Germany. And um, just clear up with Oliver Bamadeli, because he didn't go away with Ireland and, uh, and it looked like he was doing a little bit in Portugal on his own. Was there a little bit of an issue you were just managing over the summer with him? Yeah, he had some groin problems uh, at the end of the last season and uh, this is why he was uh, out for the island camp and he really got a proper program, uh, a rehab program as well, uh, had his first uh, training sessions today as well. He maybe will get some minutes against uh, Kingsland as well, if not then at the latest in Germany. It looked good, everything settled down, uh, was able to follow the, the, the rehab program and the off-season program as well. Uh, as I said, was uh, on the board the first time today and it looks like that he can, uh, not it looks like, it is the case that uh, I expect him to train full the next days and then if it's... Um, um, Early enough, then he will play against Kingsland as well. Yeah, just got more if I can. I mean, you want competition all the way through your squad, but particularly in wide areas. You've seen tonight John Rowe with the goal he scored. You bring Jolis off the bench on L. Science not even involved today. Poeta. How key to what you're trying to do with this team is that wide area situation? Yeah, at the end of the day, you are right in terms of numbers. Yeah, we have numbers, uh, but now the players have a show. Uh, in the preseason, uh, that it's not only numbers, that it's quality, which uh, really can be a strength. Obviously, as you said, uh, Shem Plachetta didn't play for a long period. Um, Johnny Rowe didn't play for a long period. Christos uh, come, came back in a, in a different shape, but uh, it's now up to them. Uh, it's preseason, six weeks of preseason, um, and then we have to see. Uh, what they are really capable uh, after such a pre-season uh, of to deliver us, uh, how they can help us. And then I'm uh, the happiest man on the planet if they maybe can do uh, what we hope what they can do. But at the end of the day, it's up to us to support them, to make them as fit as they can. And then it's up to them to show their qualities, which they, without a shadow of a doubt, have. Yeah, it's final. I mean, talking of numbers, are you happy where you are at this stage of the summer in terms of the business you've already done? And, and where do you think it goes from here? What's the meaning of happy? So uh, this is <laughs> at the end of the day. I said this before. I, I would not bet this is that this is the squad which we will have available when the when the when the transfer window closes. But uh, nobody knows. So obviously, in and outs um, are still possible. Uh, we will see what happens. Now I'm focused on the players which we have. Luckily, after yesterday, we have everyone back, the internationals as well, and now we are focused on them and make sure that they um, will be at the end of the preseason one of the fittest teams in the division. Make sure that they have a clear idea how we like to play in ball possession and without ball possession, and make sure that they bound as strong as they can. Um, that they are very uncomfortable to play against. This is our aim, and this is my first focus at the minute. Just one from me, David, sorry, um, and apologies if I've missed it, but Gabi Sara wasn't around today. Is he okay? Is there something managing there? 
Ja, yeah, he uh, had an append appendix uh, operation in off season, ah, okay. very early, luckily. So he is uh, back uh, on the grass with the fitness coaches since uh, yesterday. It looked good. Uh, we think that he will travel with us and get some football conditioning work then in Germany. And I think uh, after Germany at the latest, he is back in team training. So this is, is a story of... Uh, Gabi's uh, off-season, so he enjoyed some days in Switzerland and in Germany, uh, more in Switzerland, he told me, and once he went back to uh, Brazil, then it happened, and unfortunately, he got an operation and uh, had not the best off-season in terms of uh, holiday and quality time, but he is, he is fine now again. Good, that's good to know. Okay. Can I just ask about Demi Yunulis and why he wasn't involved tonight? He was away for the international uh, of Greek as well, back yesterday for testing, train today. Uh, he is one of the guys where I expect that they will be involved on, on Saturday at the latest in Germany. Okay. Well. Can I Thanks, ask a question as well? Sorry. Um, so uh, Norwich is a club famous for bringing through young players. Uh, I know you did that in the second half. Um, I just wondered, will there be places up for grabs for those, um, you know, like the likes of Abu Kamara this season? Not only Abu, at the end of the day, all of them, uh, which we've seen now that this, since the start of the preseason, so it, it counts the same. Like I said, for the wide options, uh, it's up to them. So they have their chance. They can impress us every day in training, and it's up to us to help them and support them with information and with the fitness level that they can do. Uh, I think you've seen in the second half, uh, there are some interesting players as well. They need time. This is not a shadow of a doubt, but we have some interesting uh, players in our academy and we will see how quick they can break through. Okay. Uh, sorry, just lastly as well, I know it's only a pre-season friendly. Norwich brought an amazing support with them today. How important are they going to be on the road this season? Yeah, absolutely. I said this before and if you see that uh, we got, uh, I don't know, three, four hundred away supporters for a Tuesday evening against Barnet uh, under this weather conditions, it's, it's just uh, unbelievable and crazy. So um, this is great and uh, I'm so happy to, that we have them. And um, they will play. They they have to be, and they will play their part in the next season for sure. Uh, but I said this more often. Uh, first and foremost, we have to do our job, and uh, this is where we prepare us now in the next five weeks for, and what we have done already in the last ten days. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Cheers.